What's up everybody, Boonga here. Today is Femi X8 Mini test flight number nine. Let's go. All right, everybody. So today's main objective was, once again, just flying the Femi X8 Mini, getting familiar with it. Uh, today I'm gonna share two things with you. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the tripod mode and I'll talk to you a little bit about the customer support and my experience with them. It was a beautiful, clear day today and the weather was just perfect. The wind was just barely minimal, so we're back at the same place that we flew last time and this big gigantic open field just to fly around and today I discovered some amazing things on the little Femi X8 Mini and one of those things is the tripod mode and what I really like about the tripod mode that it just slows everything down and makes everything really easy to control and I was able to walk behind the drone, maneuver between small narrow spaces and on top of that I was able to get it up in the air and one thing I did notice I want to compare this to the Mavic Mini is that the Mavic Mini I believe the the distance is what about 2, 2k 4k I, I can't remember off the top of my head but uh, anyways there when I was flying the Mavic Mini out I'd always get a weak signal so I had to bring it in closer uh, when I would use the Femi X8 Mini to fly out to the same locations and then fly back I would not have any issues at all and so that to me was a really great thing and one of the upside one of the big differences between the Mavic Mini and the Femi X8 Mini of course with the with the DJI Mavic Mini 2 you don't have that issue because I think it, it goes it has a range of up to 10, 10 kilometers I believe uh, the Femi X8 Mini has a range of up to eight kilometers, which is actually really good because just flying in this little space where I can see it and, and hear it up in the air, I think it's it's, it's perfect. Anyways, po point is tripod mode works really, really great. As you can see here, I'm maneuvering between these small spaces. I'm going in between trees. I'm able to control it. It's able to fly left and right, forward and back. And that was actually a really good experience. And because of that, I was really happy and I felt really good about it. So as far as flying Femi X8 Mini today in tripod mode, everything worked out really good and that was awesome. Uh, right now I've been talking with uh, Femi customer support, uh, asking them about the connectivity issue on the on my, on my, on my Mini, uh, asking them why it cuts out. I've sent them the black box information of my drone. I've also sent them pictures of my drone. I've sent them uh, links to videos of of my flying experiences with them and they've actually been really really receptive with me I haven't had any issues uh, the person that's been assisting me with the customer sort has been really really great and I have nothing but good things to say about them right now uh, right now I'm just waiting back for the response to make sure that they got my black box information and then from there they'll look at that information to see why the Femi X8 Mini is having connectivity issues uh, once we get the answer to that, I'll be able to I'll make another video and share that with everybody so we can know why these things are happening. Uh, one thing I did notice is uh, today, because the conditions were really, really near perfect to fly in, I had no connectivity issues. Uh, same thing with the other day when you flew it and the day was like nice, there was no connectivity issues. But days when there's like really strong wind and and the Femi is uh, jerking a lot in the wind and it's stopping really abruptly and everything like that. Maybe, maybe that has something to do with the connectivity issue is what I'm thinking. Because you know when the day is like this, it's nice, it's sunny, there's no wind, flies great, connectivity is great, nothing cuts out. It works really, really well. But on days where there's high winds, uh, the weather is really rough and it's, it's struggling to go through it's, it's struggling to fly against the wind and within the wind, then I guess I have connectivity issues. So I'm wondering if that has something to do with it. Um, but like I said, we don't know until after Femi examines my black box information. And then once we get that back, then we can, uh, we can talk about it and I can share with you uh, that. Uh, the other thing I noticed about retrieving black box information from the Femi X8. If you plug your Femi X8 Mini into a Mac, it will not show you the black box info. I have no idea, I mean, that's just the way it's formatted. But plug the Femi X8 Mini into a Windows PC, voila, black box, easy to retrieve. So if you have a Femi X8 Mini and you're dealing with customer support and they ask you for your black box, 
if you have a Mac computer, find someone who has a PC so you can get the black box info from them. That's the best way to do it. That's what I discovered. That's my experience. So to get to so the point is to get the black box info from the Femi X8 Mini, plug it into a PC, and there you have it. So check out these clips that we made today. I'll also interweave some of my Mavic Mini clips and I'll make sure that I'll leave a little note on the bottom so you can see. All right, those clips turned out really great. I hope you enjoyed those. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm almost to 500 subscribers. So please, 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 if you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I do post ramb rambly. I do post randomly. And with that, I'll see you in the next round. Peace and enjoy.